What is up, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd, and the question that I have today is a pretty common one that I hear a lot of men saying, and something that I went through as well. And he says he's basically fine talking to girls, going up and you know creating attraction, but he feels like the girls that he's getting, the girls that he's hooking up with, dating, whatever it is, they're not at the level that he's looking for. They're, they're not. He's not really that attracted to them, and the girls that he does like aren't really attracted to him. So basically what this means is that his main value is not high enough. Now, <laughs> I know this is going to be kind of a harsh thing to say, but I'm not in this to, to give you the answer you want. I'm here, this, uh, here to help you out. And basically what it means is if you can't attract the girls that you want to attract, it means you're not attractive to them. It's a little bit different than that. So with men and women, basically men compete more for sex and women kind of compete more for commitment. What, what does that mean? That means that if a, uh, a man and a woman have the same mate value, the woman is less likely to just want to sleep with the guy and have nothing else than the guy is to just sleep with the girl and have nothing else, okay? A guy's more likely to take that choice. So what that means is that even if you're meeting women who are the same mate value as you, it doesn't automatically mean that they're going to sleep with you. So that means for a guy to sleep with like really, really hot girls, he's got to be really on top of his shit. Yes, his mate value has to be really high, or at, le at least it has to look like his mate value is really high. So you have to basically step your game up, make yourself a better dude, or at least make it look like you are a better dude because there's two parts to this. You can improve the product, but you also have to improve marketing of the product. There, there are a lot of really great things out there that uh, we never get to experience. A lot of products that people release that are just, is just really great, but their marketing sucks and we never get to see them. And that's why we're stuck with like two phones, like the iPhone and whatever Samsung's coming out with. I'm not saying the iPhone is a bad product, but I'm saying their marketing was on point and there's probably better phones out there than the iPhone that you know that are cheaper, that are better for you, but they didn't make it because their marketing wasn't good enough. Now, your product has to be to a certain point because if girls hook up with you and then they don't want to see you again, like that kind of sucks too. So you want to be able to get a girl and keep her. But if your mate value is really good and your marketing sucks, girls are still not going to want to hook up with you. So I have a lot of students that they are really accomplished in software engineering or maybe they're like really responsible. They're on top of their shit. They're, you know, they're really good with their life. They have their career and all that sorted out. The problem comes when they start talking to a girl. When they start talking to a girl, they're not like, they, they don't look like they're on top of their shit. They look nervous, shy, uncomfortable. In these social situations, their mate value drops or their appearance of their mate value drops really low. But if the girl had the opportunity to see themselves at their work, if they were maybe it's, they sat in on a meeting or they watched them give a presentation or something like that where people are really listening and respecting what they have to say or they're ordering people around, she would probably be a lot more attracted to them there. But she never gets to see that. She just sees like the scared, geeky version of himself. And that's why these guys have a lot of trouble where they get frustrated because their perceived mate value is higher than what the girl's seeing. So you, how do you get your mate value up and how do you get your mate value to look like it's higher? Okay, well... Everything on this channel is designed for that sort of stuff. It's designed to help you talk better. It's designed to help you converse better. It's designed to help you be more socially savvy, smart, you, so you can get the stuff that you need. You can improve your look if you watch this channel, your posture, your vocal tonality, the way you move, all of those different elements. This is all game. This is all taking things in the direction that you, you, know, you want it to go, but a lot of people don't have this down. Their marketing sucks. And so even if you're really accomplished in life and you don't have this, you're going to be lacking in certain areas. So maybe the person who asked this question also has, like, his, his product is no good too. So if that's the case, work on yourself and get better. And don't be too hard on yourself, guys. The good thing about being a guy is a lot of this stuff can change. And that's why older men tend to be more attractive than younger men because they haven't figured this stuff out. They haven't accrued the skills. They don't know know how to game girls very very well so they're stuck in these areas where um, they feel like oh but I'm so responsible I'm such a good guy I'm such like, so ambitious why don't they see it well they don't see it because you're not you're, you're not projecting that you're not being your best self in front of them and I talk all about this channel on how to do that sort of thing I mean I struggled with this for a little bit too man I think it was in probably like the second year of me going out consistently. So I was going out like five, six nights a week and, you know, trying to improve my social skills and get, you know, make sure that I was good at talking to girls. 
But the problem with this was that, like, what I began to realize was that for the way I look like and for who I am, there was a certain level of girl that I could get, and I was not satisfied with that level. And I realized that that was, these are kind of the girls that I dated and I was hooking up with most of the time before I got into this stuff. I was just getting them easier and more. So in order for me to step my game up to the next level so I could really start getting the girls that I was attracted to that were high quality, that were not just hot, but, like, amazing people as well, that takes a little bit of an extra effort. Like you really have to step it up. And it took me about an extra year for me to figure out and like, I guess, fine tune my skills and my ability to converse and talk with people and lead things in a direction that I was looking for. That took about an extra year for me staying in this game. And all the videos that I talk about in this where I figure out how to like have, how to lead to fun, um, how to be you know, talk with a commanding voice, how to tell really good stories, all of that stuff came about later. And you, it's a little bit of understanding yourself too, what makes you look good, what makes you uh, thrive, what you're really good at talking about, what you're really good at expressing yourself about. Those things will come with time. And so your presentation in America is just gonna get better, but if you wanna get better faster, step your game up, okay? Anyway, that's what I have to say about this, you guys. If you made anything, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my mentorship weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching program, hit me up, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there, you guys.